And everybody taking advantage of the par five second. Rolls this in for birdie. Yeah, not what he was expecting to have here, but he's he made birdie on really the only birdie hole. Everybody making birdies at the second, including Ernie Ells, who's playing in the last group with Harrison Frazier and Stuart Sink. Yeah. And that got Ernie to six under. Started the day. Steve Stricker, who won here in 2021. He's two under on his round. His second into four. And Billy Ray Brown with Stricker. Shot. Yeah, really well done there. That was some 140 yards. Stricker off to a very good start, birding two of the first three holes. Scott likes to work it big time right to left. He's got to start this out at the right edge to well, get it close. That was also a seven iron. And got to bounce off that right oh, edge. And this a is fortunate really good. kick here. Oh, my. Certainly, Steve Stricker will have a watchful eye on this putt from Choi as it works its way back down the hill. And will turn back to the right. Choi birdied this hole in round one, and now in round three, he's played the fifth hole four under through the first three rounds. About five yards closer than Harrison. Just a straight lead. I love Ernie just plays a little undercut there. You don't see him hit any, hit any hard short irons, do you? They always like that beautiful shot, and he kind of takes a little off of them. KJ Choi for birdie at seven. Really quick coming back down the slope here for Choi. Got a turn. Yes, it does. Wow. Beautiful play. I mean, what he's doing at five and seven is phenomenal. Yeah, it really he continues is. his tear on par threes here on the front side. A guy that's a true Hall of Famer and somebody who's been a nice player, but Ernie knows what he's doing 100% of the time. David Toms rolls that in for birdie at 12. He's at three under. There you go. He cuts it off. I need to go a little. Oh, he got a hop. Will it oh, stay? Oh, yeah, it stayed perfect. He's got a better foot. He's got one you could make there, big. KJ Troy out of the thick rough at 11. Yeah, that's from 157. This is going to be really tough to judge. Bounce. Perfect. All right, he got the bounce. Yeah. Well, he did a nice job of it, Billy <laughs> oh, Ray. Oh, my goodness. What a play. His third here at 11. Yeah, coming off the down slope here, pulled another wedge shot. This is really tough. Oh, my goodness. Really? That probably works. Uh, you think? <laughs> Pulled his wedge, had a downhill eye in the bunker. I'm thinking he can't get it within 10 feet. He makes it. Wow, what a play. Bernard Langer playing with Jerry Kelly. Has this for birdie. Langer won over today. And Langer back to even on the day and back to red figures. A three-time winner of the Colleague Company's championship. Won it three consecutive years. Open championship and Ernie Yells, obviously, that Hall of Fame resume. Sink for birdie. Oh, yeah, he finally gets one to go down. He hasn't made much today. Really had to have a lot of good looks and makes one that was maybe unexpected right there. I don't think he can carry it up top and stop it, do you? Oh, no, he's going to have to land this ball short. It's coming in very low. It should pitch up nicely now. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was really, really well done, but he had to play a great third shot to get it close. <laughs> Stricker laid up. Hit a Stricker like wedge to three feet. Stewart Sink was going through his preparations for a second shot. This was a moment ago. Bernhard Langer from long range at 17. Langer makes one that gets him back to red figures. This was a moment ago at 18. Rod Pampling hit an errant tee shot at a pitch out off the right side. Played his second to here. And how about that? Nice way to finish with a birdie. Yeah, I guess Rodney under par for the tournament. Just one over today, so not bad. Course played tough today.